Well, he probably was he a truck driver or what? No. Oh. That's crazy. But I thought, man, but the, the but this as I was saying before I lost my train of thought. <laughs> the dude Okay, so if you're going to if if you're going to do the damn thing again, it's a pendulum swing. Like I I see motherfuckers out here all the time. Um you know, female knock on their truck. They get invited in. I mean, I guess that's okay, you know, that you want to bring a female into the truck. But unlike other motherfuckers, I got shit laying all over this damn truck. You know, I got my, I, you know, I probably might have a couple of dollars here. I probably might have my wallet up in the cubby hole. Or I probably might have something very important just laying around so do you really want to bring a female into the truck for about five ten minutes i mean some of these motherfuckers can't last long i i i, I know they can't you know but would you though and then on the flip side of that on the flip side of that if you do decide to go and, and and get your jollies off with a with a with an unknown female would you go in her particular hotel or would you be like yo bro let me get a room i mean the room you know at a shitty shitty ass motel shouldn't shouldn't be no more than like what 30 bucks 40 bucks some shit like Man, that that's a Man, that's a motel in Illinois. You only got to pay like $30 for like an hour or two. It's like $30 for two hours. All right, so would it would it be better to just pay that and then you have control over the fuck that's going on? Unlike this dude that actually walked in her room and then got robbed by three other by three other motherfuckers, bro. Uh, shit. You going into a female hotel room, mm -hmm. uh possibly looking at the possibility of doing business, you probably looking back getting set the fuck up or still getting a pussy and getting fucked up because you see a lot of cats these days that like motherfuckers out here selling pussy so if you the type that's buying the pussy you gonna want to know hey what you charge because they're gonna ask me how long you want me to stay or what you need done well that's 180 or that's 200 so if you already told her i got 200 then i right, come in with 200 just come in with 200 don't come in with your whole thousand dollar stash in your hand and out count and shit with her because she gonna get your ass set up and run. I don't know a prostitute that don't have a pimp. Hey, I man, look. Let me let me tell you something, man. I mean, if if me, you know, I I never I I, I never paid for no pay for no pussy i mean usually usually you know what i'm saying you know i i, I do i i meet women the traditional way you know what i'm saying i mean if if a female comes up out of the out of the pocket talking about hey uh you know uh me and you gonna get together for this price this price that price then i i, I can't mess with you you know I, I I can't mess with you, but let other people tell it that that bros pay for a pussy anyway, any any kind of way. 
you know, whether you taking them out for a dinner, whether you taking them out for a movie or whatever the case, they they saying that's that's what you're doing. You 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 paying for that pussy, I guess. I don't know. I haven't looked at it that I way. I, I've been. I don't see how that shit adds up no fucking way. Because let's just say you just met a girl and you go pick her up and you take her out to eat. So you take her out to eat. How the fuck is you paying for pussy? Because if she wanted to charge you for the pussy with their board, would you pay for y'all both to fucking eat? Well, I mean, if you. Let's, let's say you let's say you take her let's say you take her out to eat uh you you take her out to eat you wine her you dine her and all like that and then you go back to the house and you know a little foreplay here some wine there and then boom something happens you know so do you equate do you equate that we paying for the pussy? Or do you just equate that to you guys had a physical attraction and y'all just fell into each other? I just look at the physical attraction. But this but but this dude right here, truck driver charge. Let me read it again. Truck driver charge will murder of a prostitute at the leaving shoes beneath a motel bed. That's crazy. Number one, the most important thing is if you're going to do some fucking dirt, Confucius say, take everything with you, including the shoes, bruh. How the fuck can you forget about putting on some damn shoes? You had your pants in your head. You had and you your walking out the motherfucker barefoot. barefoot or your damn socks. Motherfucker, I'm gonna kill the motherfucker. Bitch, I'm getting dressed. You already did. You can't oh call that one. God. What the fuck? You're gonna walk out of there with a pair you gonna walk out of there with your with your pants in your arm or on your arm. That's number one. That's that's number one. That's let's just let's just clarify that. You're gonna walk out of there with your pants on your arm. That's number one. But you're gonna walk out of there barefooted? What you scared? You already got your fucking pants on your arm. What's what's a couple of more minutes to get your fucking shoes? Wow. I, the, the woman ain't gonna wear size 10 shoes and shit. Like, motherfuckers forget about DNA. <laughs> Fingerprints. Fingerprints, DNA, the, 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 the black, the black light, all that shit, luminol or whatever the fuck. Now he's sitting, now he's sitting in jail, lost his job, lost his life. Now he's sitting in jail because because he he got your fucking shoes. Yeah, yeah. And 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 I forgot and, to grab the shoes, bro. They caught me off my shoe size and being barefoot outside. Exactly, exactly. They got they they got him on that. They got him on that. And the fact that he paid well, he, he well he ain't even getting nothing. He got robbed, bro. He got robbed. And I, you know, you. You, you know, you kind of, you, you right. You right. You, what, you, what, did, you, you need to, they on himself? you, you need to, you, you need to, you, you need to, uh, you need to negotiate that shit before the shit go down. And so you got to kill my bitch and now I got to rob your ass. So if I done killed a motherfucker. Well, no, he got, wait, 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 now, hold on, hold on, you putting it in perspective now, bro, how did he manage, wait, if he was maced and fucking robbed, then by three people, 
but he went back to kill the bitch. Where was the other three people at? I guess they got what they needed and just bounced. I don't, I don't think and so, bro. He getting, he getting his feelings of I just got robbed. I, I don't think so, I man. I think she was a part of it. I'm about to go yeah. fuck this bitch up. Yeah, she was. <laughs> listen, listen, she was a part of it. If that was the case, do you think those three motherfuckers would have left her there by herself? Think about it. Hey, think about it. Think about, think about it long and hard. When a, when a, when a setup happens the motherfucking nigga is always around no matter what no matter what the motherfucker gets set up she robbed or he or her robs him they take their money kick his ass to the fucking curb now if the motherfucker comes back that dude is not gonna leave that chick alone Either they going to leave from the hotel site and go to another hotel or the dude is going to stay is going to stay there to make sure she's all right, man. Man. I mean, it says here in the article it says here in the article that the one dude went in there first. They neither got undressed for the encounter. When he was done, the chick walked him to the door and he jogged to the semi to rejoin his friend. Uh, however, the unnamed friend told the police that about 20 minutes later, Ricky ran back to the truck and told him that he'd been robbed by three unknown males and that he'd been maced. Okay, video footage shows Hollins and the chick speaking with Hollins friend just at nine o'clock. This is all discombobulated. But anyway, um and shows Hollins and Doran, the, the dude and the chick, entering the motel room at about nine nineteen. The footage then shows the dude Hollins running barefoot from the room around 9 40 43 about a good half an hour carrying his pants on his arm now the chick's body was discovered inside the room by the motel owner the next morning so the dude lied okay so he pretty much lied when he went back to tell his friends, like, yo, I've been maced and I was robbed. Now, I believe he probably got maced because the chick was probably defending herself. But there wasn't no other dudes. If that was the case, dude, the truck driver dude would have been fucked up. If there was three. Now, come on, man. This that don't make no sense. Now that I read it over again, that don't make no sense. The dude came. Ain't no way. The dude said, "Hold on." The dude said he came out twenty minutes later and told him that he was robbed by three unknown males and that he's been maced. That don't make no sense. I understand that you got robbed by three motherfuckers, but you're gonna get more than mace, man. You're gonna get your ass whooped, especially if you fuck with the female. So he pretty much lied to his friend because the chick must have maced him you know the money the money transaction probably didn't happen that's every time every time when when something done with a prostitute especially when i read articles like this he he played the bitch like he had the money and probably got the pussy and, and she went to go want to get paid, and she and didn't give it to her. Exactly. So they had a fight, and got maced, and yeah, he killed the bitch. There she you left. go. Point. There you go. There you go. There you go. Right there. Right there. Exactly. That's how it happened. This, like all, this, like all these other females that 
that that talk about uh, that talk about they got fucked up with a truck driver because that's what happened to the one dude back in the day when I did the story and the dude actually called the dude actually called me too like yo uh, can you uh, can you take the story down because you know I'm I'm in uh, I'm in this that and the third and I'm like oh okay no problem I take it down. The female, no, the, no, 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 no. I, I, I went on here to. It was old anyway, bro. It was only like, uh, like a hundred views. So yeah, I took it down. It wasn't no big. I, I didn't take it down at the, at the height of the situation, because he, you know, he had a fee. He, he got a hold of the female prostitute. That I guess they was rolling down the street or whatever. She got in the truck. They had sets. For some odd reason, he didn't pay her. She called the police while they were still rolling, claiming that she got raped. And it didn't happen that way. She just got mad because dude didn't pay her. So basically, that's what this is right here. For some odd reason, he got in there, he got his shit waxed. I, I guess it wasn't to his standards or whatever the case. She cussed him out. They got into an argument. He must have pushed her. She must have maced him. And then he cracked her upside her head with the with the with the candlestick thing and killed her. And fucked around and left his damn shoe up under up under the bed. And he's gonna come back to his friend while his friend seeing him. Like, bro, what's, what's, why you all discombobulating, no running out here with no pants on and no shoes on? Now, mind you, he don't have no pants on, bro. He got his pants in his hand, so he's half naked running outside to the truck. That should be red flags in itself to his friend. Like, yo, bro, what the? Oh, uh, you know, I got robbed and. And I was mates, so let's get on up out of here. Uh, I don't know, man. Are you you all bloody and shit? You, you, ain't no way that he could have came out fucking clean. He had to be bloody. You know, he had to be bloody. So, bloody your eyes, brother. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can't drive, motherfucker. You lace the fuck up. Right. You ain't gonna be you ain't gonna be able to see for about at least a good hour. I've been maced before. That shit ain't for, that shit ain't cool. That shit ain't uh uh-uh. uh. Your eyes and face be burning red and all that shit, man. I mean, what well, your it, it, the dude who was the driver? Because this dude says he was a friend. So. I guess they was on the road because, like I said, that, that's when they found them the next morning. Uh, officers also discovered a can of mace, drug paraphernalia, a used condom, and a pair, a pair, a pair, a pair of men's sneakers size 10 beneath the bed. This dude left, this man left his, this man, he he left DNA, bruh, by leaving the condom. And that's one thing you never do. All right. I, yeah, I, nah. I, I watch too many TVs. Condom and shoes got to go. <laughs> I, I, watch, I watch too much television. Flush to, the condom down the toilet, shit. As, and, and stay there and watch the condom go down the toilet. Don't. Don't take the condom with you and put it in the bag because I've seen I, I've seen a SVU episode where the chick went outside, dump, got in the garbage can, and pulled out the used condom that the dude used. That's number one. You don't you flush that motherfucker down the toilet. Either 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 that or take that shit with you. And this, yeah, and discarded clear across America 
away from the female that could probably get your DNA or get your sperm and use a turkey baster. And then that's thing, you know, you come back to that damn city. Hey, I'm pregnant. Yeah, hey, oh, wait, what? Yeah, I'm pregnant. No, no, no. I I had the condom on extra tight. E- extra tight. Trust me, I know that condom was tight around my shit. You know, my, my shit is a Madden size. I'm just saying. You know, I know my shit was Bitch, tight. I caught you with a condom and a rubber band wrapped around it. What the fuck <laughs> you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. You take that shit with you, along with your size 10 shoes, bro. He It says in his article, he says, he, Hollins, claimed that the shoes he was wearing at the time of his arrest was the same shoes he wore in the hotel room. And wrong. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Wrong button. That boy say, those was the same shoes. Nah, bro. They got you on camera. They got you on camera running out, half naked, no shoes on, to the truck. How did they catch this motherfucker? I mean. The whole time you telling me that I'm a truck driver. Right. At a hotel. Just killed a bitch. Mash the fuck up. The, the, motherfucker, I'm I'm swerving going down the motherfucking road. Fuck you, bitch. Man, no, man. I'm swerving let, up out of there, running out with shit. Oh, let, the fuck. Let, listen, I'm out. Listen, you, you, listen, you not. listen, there's no way. There's, DeMarchio, listen. There is no way that you could do dirt in a fucking truck, in the truck, bro. The motherfucking truck don't go that fucking fast. I mean, it goes fast, but, bro, I mean, it takes, like, about 20 minutes to get up the fucking speed to try to outrun somebody, you know? And plus, you got you you got company information all over the fucking truck. Even if you're owner-operator, you still have to have information on the truck. If not your if not your company, you have to have the DOT number on there, the MC number on there, whatever number that you have to have on there. You're gonna have some type of information on the truck. It's gonna be hard to do, bro. It's gonna be hard to do dirt in a truck. That shit, motherfuckers need to go ahead and grab some goddamn paper, a sheet of paper, and some paper, cover that shit up. How you, <laughs> bro? You can't cover this shit. You cannot, man. A big white truck. Okay, if even if it didn't have information on the truck, they still got the color and probably the model of the fucking truck. A white Volvo. <laughs> <laughs> they be pulling over white Volvos, and by the time they get to me, shit, I'm gone. <laughs> they may not get to me. Uh, but shit, I'm covering up that name and DOT number and shit. You say you gone. You out of here. I hear you, bro. But man, though, I I, I mean, bro, I mean, I, I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, man. I mean, if you're going to do dirt, if you're going to do dirt, number one, don't do it in the truck. I... Don't do it in the truck. Don't do it in a company truck. You know, even even if you want to get your dick waxed and all like that, I, I wouldn't even bring a prostitute or let, let me let me clarify. I wouldn't bring a street walker. Nah, nah, that don't sound right either. I wouldn't bring a woman that I did not know in the truck for the purpose of the sexual encounter in a company truck. Imagine, okay, so you bring a you 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 bring a female, you you bring a female in a company truck. Mind you, especially if this motherfucking truck got like the in and out cameras, 
and they rolling 24 7. Don't believe that shit when they tell you, oh, uh, the camera only goes off in an in a event. No, no. I let listen. I got actual no. proof. I, I got actual proof that, that camera is rolling the whole oh, time. Yes. I, I got actual proof, right? So I was in Love's parking lot, right? I was in Love's parking lot, or I was coming into Love's parking lot, and I was I, I came up on the curve, and I you know grazed the curve, and you know it scraped the bottom of the bumper, you know damaged it, you know damaged the you know the little plastic part of the bumper because these trucks ain't made of shit. So just just you know scratch the bottom of the bumper, and all like that. Of course I have to call. For you know, I had to call safety, you know, and let them know, hey, um, I came up into the, uh, in the loves, you know, and the next morning I noticed that it was scraped, whatever, whatever, you know, wasn't sure how I did it because, you know, I was parked up against the curve and I don't know, it was dark. Oh, no problem. Uh, do you have a ballpark around the time you came in? Yeah, um, it was super late. Uh, say around twelve ish or some shit like that. Oh, okay, no problem, no problem. Um, we'll we'll go back to the we'll go back to the tape. You go back to the tape. Oh, uh, okay, no problem, dude. They called me about ten minutes later. Sent me. The video sent. I, I did not bump it. I no, no hard brake, no speeding, no nothing, no nothing. Just grazed the, you know, just grazed the bumper, you know, damaged it, you know, it cracked it a little bit, and they got the, they got the footage. Of me coming up in the truck stop, coming to a full park. Okay, uh, lockout is 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 that the area? Could it be right there? Yeah, yeah, that's where I was at. Oh, okay, no problem. Um, all right, no problem. Just send in the you know information, yada yada guy, and go on about the business. Okay, so these motherfucking cameras. It's on all the time, and they can pull the information anytime they want to fucking pull it. So, again, with the in and out camera, if you don't, quote, unquote, cover it up, you're going to bring a female, you know, a, a, a non-female, a non-company female into a company truck you know, for the purpose of sexual encounter. I, I don't know if that's written anywhere in the bylaws that you can't do that shit, but still, you know, let's say the shit goes sideways. You know, let's say you didn't blow your load or or the girl came in, the girl came in and and just, you know, did some stupid shit or whatever, whatever. Don't you know the motherfucker could turn around and say, oh, he hate, I mean, he raped me, and and he was in a company truck, Western Express, uh, truck number 22128. Damn, bitch, how the fuck you remember all of that? Because the information is on the side of the truck. It's just like how, how, uh, these truck stops used to be when they was heavy on on these types, just like down there in uh, Atlanta, mm -hmm. with the blue flame right across the uh, parking lot. <laughs> so <laughs> you telling me all the drivers that got hit up with, uh, with you know stuff getting taken out of truck? It's like I think it was I can't remember the truck stop. I'm gonna have to relook it up. Uh, they come back with you to it. But I read an article came up talking about how so many drivers woke up with their wallets and shit missing out yeah. of their trucks. Yeah. Yeah. After they after, after they bring in uh 
a female from over at Blue Flame. You go over there, you have a good time and all like that. Hey, uh, we, we could take this outside. Where's your truck at? Oh, it's across the street at the Petro. Okay, well, let's go on over here. And then the next thing you know, you wake up, your motherfucking wallet gone. But bro, what the fuck are you gonna go to sleep with a motherfucking prostitute in your trunk, bro? Who does that? No, I'm up. But uh, once I blow my shit, you gone. All right, get the fuck out. No, you, you know you gotta go. Hey, can I stay? No. You know what? I can get you a shower though. You know, doo 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 doo. Number eleven. Your shower is ready. Please proceed to door three. Yeah, that's that's your number, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, man, you don't, uh, you, you, you don't, you don't do that. You, you don't do that, man. You don't do that. Now, I agree with you. If you're going to negotiate shit, this is what, this, this is what a motherfucker should do. You should put your wallet up in a cubby hole, in a cabinet, in a, up under the mattress, up under, uh, up under the beam, in the drawer. No, don't even put it in the drawer. They, they can still look through the drawer. But put it in the cubby hole, in the cabinet, or whatever, whatever. Take the money, just like you said, excuse me, that you ne quote unquote negotiated with. Take the money, and then you, you, you negotiated that money. That's the money that you should have in your pocket, period. Because you know how you know how females go like when a nigga take off when a nigga when a when a bro take off his pants, right? He take he, he don't you know like if he's drop his pants to the flow, he getting this dish. I mean he's getting his his shit waxed. He ain't thinking about nothing else except for that for that good that 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 good slob. All she had to do is just reach down there, go in his pants pocket, and take his shit. You don't leave nothing in your pants pocket. You don't leave nothing to chance. Give that, give the money to the chick, whether the shit was right or wrong, and then and then bounce out. That I, I think that'll clear up a lot of bullshit. A lot of bullshit because especially if you're doing ill shit in a night truck, a swift truck, a prime truck. Yeah, once that bitch leave the motherfucking truck, all she had to do is just turn around and take a picture, bro. They all got camera phones. Oh, yeah, okay, this motherfucker ain't paying me. Huh. Uh, hello? Prime? Uh, yeah, one of your drivers uh, assaulted me. And that's all she wrote. You get back to Prime and... You get back to Prime and that good, that good leasing that you was doing with Prime and all like that, poof, gone. Because somewhere in the bylaws, in the employee handbook, somewhere in there states that non-workers is not allowed in the truck. All right, or, or or even if you did allow somebody in the truck, you neglected to call safety or call whoever to let them know that it was an unauthorized person in the vehicle. And then poof, your shit is gone. So pay that bitch. You, you negotiated 100, would her pay her 100? You negotiated forty dollars. Would have paid forty dollars. Pay her. I mean, look at it this way: you paying her to leave. <laughs> Am I right or wrong on this? You 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 paying her to leave, bro? Whether the shit was yeah. whack or not. Thanks for the service. Shut up. Don't say nothing. Don't come back. Uh, but, right. If the shit was whack or not, like, 
if you if you blew your load two seconds before she even touched your shit, I did, okay, service done. You came. Job's done. She did her job. You 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 just came faster than what you anticipated to do. Ash should have took a fucking Viagra before she came in. Oh, hold on. Let me uh let me give with you about 30 minutes. So go ahead and, you know, make your rounds before you come back over to me. Uh can I can I get paid? No, bitch. You're not getting paid first. We don't do that. You you don't do that. We we don't do that. No, that that's like that's that's like a mechanic saying pay me the money first and your shit ain't fixed. No, you don't you don't do that. <laughs> you don't do that. Can I get half? No, we we don't even do half. You ain't a mechanic. <laughs> No, you, you get paid when the job's done. Or you, you know, you, you pay her before the job's done. That's your fault. That's, that, that's this dude's fault right here. He, it says here he negotiated for $40 all sets. So that's the, that's the, that's the thing. All sets, $40. Handshake. Go in there, give her the money. She goes down on you. You blow your load before the shit was done. You get mad. Try to get your money back. She maced you. You fucked around and killed her. Ah, uh, bitch. That was only uh, that was only fifteen minutes. You said two hours. Can we renegotiate this? You know what? You know what, man? You know what, man? I, I read an article. I, I, I read another article that, that somebody said that they negotiated, um, that they negotiated that, that amount of money, that the female wanted uh, that type of money, bro. Let me ask you a question. I know, I, I know me. I I know me. Uh, maybe you you probably might get a one rounder out of me. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get about a one rounder. You know, probably about a good ten minutes. You know, I'm not young like I used to be. You know, can't go all night. You know, but maybe about a good about a good ten minutes of pounding, and then I'm gonna come. All right. Okay, cool. Bro, why the hell I want you to linger? Uh, why the hell do I want to be around you for a whole fucking hour or two? I, I don't even know when the next rejuvenation is going to be. The next rejuvenation probably be in the next in the morning. So I'm going to give you two hundred dollars for an hour. Or an hour and a half? Man, we're going to have to do some serious fucking foreplay, yo. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, uh, we're we going to have to do some serious foreplay. Well, no, I'm, I'm ready to get into it. No. I got you for a whole hour. We're going we gonna to foreplay. One of us is going to get tired of each other. <laughs> because you can only foreplay for so fucking long. <laughs> you know? Uh, uh -huh. I have yet to see anybody except for porno stars, I guess. But don't forget, they can edit the video. Okay? I'm just saying. They can edit the video to make it look like it's longer than what it is. You know, they start, they, they start on the bottom. Then they then they get into a cowgirl position. Then they get to the bat slide. Then they get into the doggy. Don't forget they got cuts in the middle of all that shit. You know? They got a fluffer over in the corner. I'm just saying. They got a fluffer over there so the dude can keep his shit up. While they switching positions. Cut! Oh. 
Go over there to the fluffer, bro. All right, so Linda, I want you to ass down or ass up, face down, ass up, okay? Hey, long stud. All right, take, take two. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so I I don't know man. I don't know. I you know, I you know, I I feel sorry for the dude. I if he again, like I said, I I you know, if these these truck drivers are lonely, bro. They they lonely. They haven't been home in months, you know. It, it, if they got a girl at home, they haven't been home in months. You know, now if they faithful, if they faithful, cool. That's that's cool. But if they if they don't have no woman, you know what I'm saying, and they haven't been home in months, they haven't, you know, they needed it, need they shit waxed. My my best thing to tell you is is to pay the bitch. I I think I think when you I think when you I think when you pay the bitch you you eliminate all problems period you eliminate all problems you said you was going to give her fifty dollars give her the fifty dollars you said you're going to give her forty dollars give her the forty dollars if you say you're going to give her a hundred dollars give her a hundred dollars whether if the service was whack or not man because if again, if you're doing it in a company truck, you you only hurting yourself. You're not hurting her, because all she has to do is just turn around, take a quick picture of the door that has Western Express on the side of the door, take another quick picture of the front of the truck that got your truck number. Let me see Western Express. Okay, phone number. Uh, yeah. Uh, I got raped. Say what? Yeah, one of your truck drivers in truck number such and such and such and such. Uh, can you describe the inside of the truck? Yeah, it's a gray Volvo. Okay. So you riding down the street or not even riding down the street. You're not even riding, bro. You're not even riding. You you in the back of your bunk, you sleep. Next thing you know. You still sleep. Of course, you pretending not to hear it because you don't want to be bothered. That's what us truck drivers do. And then it gets louder. Uh, Arizona Police Department. Why the fuck I pick Arizona? Illinois Police Department. Hey, what's 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 going on? Um, we we are here for uh, disturbance. Um, you was accused of rape, and here she comes right around the corner. Yeah, that's him, officer. That's the one. And. And you know the officer, they they gonna believe her. Automatic. Automatic. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. This like how the one dude that got uh that got caught, got arrested, he had to come out of the pocket like tens of thousands of dollars to clear his name because he was wrongfully accused. And all of that could have been eliminated by you just simply giving her the money and she would have got the fuck out. I'm I'm just saying, I mean, look at here. Uh, you know, I, I don't I, I learned my lesson. You know what I'm saying? I, I I learned my lesson. I I did my dirt, you know. I I did my dirt when when I was married. That's why I'm separated now, you know. But I don't. I I you know. 
as many females that I that I meet out here, and a few of them that came to the damn door. I I I had one over in Holland, Illinois, when I did that when I did that five hour podcast with uh with my dude uh D Nitty and uh and uh and the dial face chick. Female, fine looking female, bro. Tattoos and all like that. They wasn't dirty tattoos either. They was, you know, she had like a nice little, nice little rose tattoo and a motherfucking, you know, two top dress. I mean, fine as fuck. Like, come over here, knock on the door. You know, I, I seen her coming because, you know, my lights was on and all like that. So she comes over to the door. Hey, hey, what's going on? I wish I had my camera on, but hey, what's going on? Um, well, you know, well, I'm kind of stranded up here and I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get a few dollars to, to, to go home or go somewhere. Is, is there something that me and you can do right quick so I can earn a, earn some change? I was like, look, man. I say you fine and everything, but I can't mess with you. Are you sure? I, I, are you sure? I, I make you. I make it worth your while. I said. I, I says. Uh, I know. I know you will, but I, I, I just can't mess with you. You know, COVID and everything. You can't, can't mess with you. Well, I, I'll put on a mask. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> uh, Still, uh, look, I'm good. I'm good. You know. So what I did, just turned, walked her, you know, she turned around and walked away, and that ass was popping. I kid you not. That ass was, that that ass was, that ass was popping. So I, you know, me and D Nitty get on the line. I was like, hey, D, say hold on, bro, right quick. He was like, what's up, man? I said, I, yo, I got to turn on the porno right quick. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I got to turn on the porno right quick, man. Let me, I said, let me go watch a porno right quick, you know. And he was like, all right. So then we got back and we did that, that live feed. But still, though, in any encounter, man, I mean, it's, it's just best. It's just best to pay the chick. And and just let it go. This dude comes out, lied to his to his bud or his friend about being robbed by three motherfuckers, half naked, barefoot, mace down. Yo, your butt would have been you you would have been like more fucked up than that if you was robbed by three dudes, bro. I don't even think you will be running. I think your partner will be coming back to the damn hotel. Hey, uh, damn. This dude been gone for a couple of hours. Hey, man, we got to get back on the clock, bro. We we got to go. So, all right, let me go in here and see what's up with this dude. Go in there, and then you see his ass all, uh, all beaten and bloody because he got robbed. Not the other way around. Run into the truck barefoot, leaving your shoes up under the bed and a condom on the floor. Dude, you fucked all the way up. You you just, you wanted to get caught. You wanted to get caught. It was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He's going to come back and say the shoes that he had on his feet when they caught him was the same shoes that he went inside with the when he killed the chick. That's not true, bro. That size 10 Nike was yours. A pair of Jordans. The the which one? The Jordan 13s? Which was which ones was the slick one? No, the Jordan 3s. That's what he left up under the up under the uh bed. A pair of Jordan 3s in a size 10. <laughs> And a used ass condom with his DNA in it. The fuck out of here, man. I mean, like I said, man, I, I I know a lot of these truck drivers be lonely and shit like that, man. But come on, y'all gotta 
if y'all not going to have no type of fucking decency, at least have some fucking smarts. At least have that. You know, make sure you put your credit cards up and all like that. Yo, 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 all your shit. Like I said, I was up in, uh, I was up in Mississippi. No, no, that wasn't Mississippi. Yeah, Mississippi. No. I mean, do people ever think that if a chick is selling herself out of a hotel room, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is her main hustle on Mm -hmm. a daily fucking basis. Right. Because she got to make at least 260 in a week to pay for another week in that hotel room. Okay. Okay, I feel it. I feel it. On top of that, she already got to pay 260 just for the room to stay for another week. Now, if she most likely got a pimp, she got to give her pimp a percentage also. Mm -hmm. So, but she already got to pay 260 just for the room and pay her uh, her pimp a percentage. Then she's probably got to make, I said, about 600 in a week. At least. So, while she's doing her business, you don't know how long she's been at that hotel room. And it could be that hotel room, that hotel spot based in that area where it could be that whole 300 rooms could be doing the same shit. But there's pimps here, and there's females here, but all the pimps know each other. Mm. So, yeah, man, we're going to go in here. We're going to play Call of Duty 2K, drinks, <laughs> get high, and let my let this girl do what she do. And if she got any problems, she's going to send the code out. We're going to come handle the business. But as long as she don't send no code out, we going to be over here to let her do her. Hmm. Now some females work by themselves, man. They they don't use pimps. Some, no some do. They don't use pimps. But even, no if, but even if even if she don't need no pimp, and she's hustling out of the hotel room over whatever her situation is, mm-hmm. she still got to pay at minimum about two sixty a week. Because yeah, you pay two, you pay about two three hundred dollars a week to stay at a hotel room. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm following. So she so so she want her hotel room paid for. She want money for both. So she not so she already got. So if you are not coming out of pocket yourself and paying over two sixty just to hit and get your whack off and nut off and whatever and make her throat baby or whatever the fuck. If you are not paying over that two sixty, so if you are not paying three hundred plus, then she got to get her hustle off with multiple people so you only coming in for about 30 minutes an hour and you gotta bounce out there's no other way to there's no other way to negotiate more time unless you're gonna pay more money exactly so if you only come in with $50 but she got 72 hours to make 260 just again pay the bitch that's it I just pay the bitch. You 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 would alleviate you you would alleviate all problems. Problem solved. Pay the bitch. Cha ching, out the door. Cha ching, gone. Bye. Cha ching. Okay, done. Even if your shit that if even if your shit ain't right. Your ass better take a fucking Viagra. You know what I'm saying? And I tell you, them motherfucking them motherfucking pills ain't cheap. <laughs> them pills ain't cheap. Shit. Like I said, man, them 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 pills ain't cheap. I bet you people gonna be like, lockout man, how you know? Because they ain't cheap. <laughs> Shit. I'm just saying. I don't know how much they cost, but I know they ain't cheap. 
shit, you probably get it. You probably get it from a drug dealer. Let me see. One is about like what forty bucks. So you figure you're gonna be out of a hundred dollars if you're gonna fuck with a female anyway. So, you know, you're gonna you know probably get a female about forty bucks. Then forty bucks for the pill. That's eighty. Probably about another thirty for the room if you get the room yourself. You know. So what's that? Uh, 80, 80, 20, 20, that's 100, $110. Now the Viagra will probably kick in an extra, what, 30 minutes or so? It, by way of you not taking Viagra, probably like what? About 10 minutes? Five minutes? Two seconds? <laughs> Shit. I mean, <laughs> like I said, bro, you know, it, it, it's, 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 it's crazy. And a lot of truck drivers, you know, they get in, they, they, they fall into this, they fall into this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, like the one truck driver that was part to me, part next to me over at uh Lamar street, right over at that Mike's over there at that Mike's, uh, what do you call it? That Mike's truck stop right across the street from the two pilots. And that loves is like right down the street. Dude opened up his door. That chick stole his wallet. Everything was in the wallet. Everything. Gas card, credit card, driver's license. Everything. And I, I learned. I, I used to keep everything in my wallet. Social security card, gas card credit card driver's license all that shit before i got the ridge wallet <laughs> now that i got the ridge wallet i only keep maybe like two like two credit card two everyday credit cards my driver's license now my other stuff like my dot card my social security card and the gas card is in a different wallet in the truck, in the cubby hole. I don't have no reason to take that wallet nowhere. So that's how I know that it's there. But my Ridge wallet that only got my driver's license and my two credit cards, I keep that in my pocket at all times. And it's in my front pocket, not in the back pocket. So if I lose this, simple. I already know my I know my driver's license number. So if I get pulled over and they be, let me see your driver's license number. Uh bro, uh, I'm an over the road truck driver. Unfortunately, I misplaced my wallet. Uh my truck my driver's license number is such and such and such and such. Oh, okay. What, what what do you think you lost that? If I knew <laughs> if I knew, I would have it on me, now would I? I'm not getting smart with you, officer. Sorry, my bad. I, I just want to make it back to Ohio so that I can go to the DMV and get a replacement. That's all. Oh, okay, okay, we'll, we'll let you go. I thank you. The only thing that's gonna be upset, with, uh, uh, that's gonna be a problem is I'll get to the truck stop, pull out a pull out a hundred dollar advance on the gas card and then i'm gone now with this dude he lost everything gas card credit cards cash and his driver's license and he was a foreigner so i ain't no telling where the fuck he was from probably florida probably texas where else do florida california and he's all the way up in motherfucking mississippi Memphis, Mississippi. You know, he had to go all the way back down there because he fucked around and left his damn wallet in the side of the in the side of the cubby hole on the tr I mean on the door. You don't do that. You don't do that. Nope. You you don't do that. You don't leave your you do not put your wallet on the side of the door. Why why you do that, bro? Oh, well, I just I leave it there because I know where it's at. 
okay, you you open your door for for number here's your mistake, bruh. Number one, you opened up the door for the bitch. <laughs> That's number one. You you don't do that. You raised down the window, bro. Hey, how can I help you? I just want to know if you uh, want some commercial company. No, I'm good. Zzz. You don't open the door. The fuck you going to open the door for? You ain't getting out. I mean, you in the seedy ass area. You going to... You gonna? They don't even the motherfucking gas over at motherfucking or the fuel over at Mike's truck stop. The the fuel pumps don't even work. What you getting out the door for? I mean, what you getting out for? Let me rephrase that. Why the fuck you opening up the door for? I had motherfucking lot lizards knocking on my fucking door all fucking night. I go out there, y yeah. Um, uh, you want some company? No. Two hours later. Uh, I'm a masseuse. You a who? I'm a masseuse. I, I can give you a massage. Really, though? At four o'clock in the morning? What motherfucking doctor's office you come from? <laughs> Ready to put your ass? Ready to come up in there? And give your ass that massage service and put your ass in sleep and rob your ass. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And you that and you that type to get your whack off and go to sleep? She love to your goddamn eyes closed. <laughs> 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 Close the eyes and get the snort, nigga. She dare you. <laughs> your GPS gonna be gone. Your tablet gonna be gone. Man, yo, 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 yo. Here, here. This, gone. this was all gonna be gone. Yeah, your laptop, your, your tablet, your TV, your money, the your cash, your gone. watch, <laughs> your necklace, your hat. Bro, you gonna be waking up the next morning like we don't. She taking your clothes and posting them on going back into the Wi-Fi connection and sell your shit. You know, right? <laughs> so take your loves card, go to loves and and burn up all your credit. <laughs> I gotta take me a shower while I'm at it. <laughs> Ooh. Man, I'm telling you, like like look, look, drivers, I'm telling y'all, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, if 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 you feel that urge to do the damn thing, be smart about it. That's it. Just be smart about it. You can't, you cannot, you cannot be smart about it, but to be smart about it. I mean, it's not like how it used to be back in the day because I know a, a, a lot of guys say there's lot lizards everywhere. Don't believe that myth. There's there's not that many females that roam the truck stops like they used to. Now, maybe down in Texas, yeah, I've seen a few. I've seen a few down in Texas, particularly Dallas. Especially at that one truck stop. They was they they was yeah, all right there in the flying train next to the spider yard and the yeah. blue beacon. Yeah, right you know. Atlanta over at that Petro for show. For show, sure. y'all right over the there, right? Plane, they got the it, yeah. Burger King, they got the Wing Restaurant, and they, they got, got the, the liquor store, store across right the across the street. <laughs> the gas station across the street. Yeah, that that. So you got the club, the gas station, the liquor store, and the wings. Yeah, right there on the corner. Yeah, <laughs> you you can get you you can get your sets on while getting your while getting drunk, and then you can eat wings on the. I mean, when you get fucking hungry after your sets, there you go. You you got it all right there, and then before you leave in the morning, Shit, you can go you right over to the side service. You got the side service in the same parking lot as the petrol off to the side, not a, in a little pit. There there you go. And then over there, now I don't know if it's like a regular over there, but over there in Holland, Illinois, right at that loves right there. That loves right there. 
Uh, Missouri. Uh, let let me not mention Missouri. That loves right over there, right off the. Uh, I can't remember, but I go to that motherfucker all the time. What's that? Uh, Car Carlos Street. I think that's the name. Right there. Right there. Right there. So that's the only places in my six-year journey that I've seen quote-unquote lot lizards. I see majority of them over on Lamar Street off of Route 70. What is it, 74 or 78? Route 78, right next door, the Mike's truck stop, right next door to the two pilots. Hey, bro. Searching, 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 and searching, searching, searching.